Hi, this is Danny from Danny'sDesigns.com. Recently on my blog I showed you this set of thank you cards that I made and I wanted to take the time today to show you how I made them. This uh, set all coordinates, they all look the same, I just use different colors on them. I have Blushing Bride, Calypso Coral, Crushed Curry, Island Indigo, Marina Mist, Pumpkin Pie, and Wisteria Wonder. All of these cards feature the same stamp sets. We have the Petal Potpourri, which I'm using this image in the center, as well as the Painted Petals, and I'm using the Thank You from that uh, stamp set. The other thing that I did was I also stamped envelopes, and I just put that same flower in the bottom corner of all the envelopes so they'd all coordinate together. The one color I didn't make was Cherry Cobbler, and that's my favorite color, so I wanted to show you how to make that with the Cherry Cobbler. To start with, I have a piece of cardstock in Cherry Cobbler that's 11 inches by 4 and a quarter, and I have that scored at 5 and a half inches, and that's going to be the card base. Next, I have a piece of basic black cardstock. This measures 4 inches by 5 and a quarter. You'll also need another piece of Cherry Cobbler paper that measures 4, no, sorry, yeah, it measures 4 inches by 3 inches. Okay, and as well for the front, you'll need a piece of, this is our Cherry Cobbler Chevron ribbon. It's about five and a half inches long, and you'll need a scrap of Whisper White cardstock to do some stamping. Okay, the first thing I'm gonna do is take the basic black cardstock and I'm gonna run it through my texture boutique using the Spring Flowers embossing folder. So center that. Insert it in the plates. And I'm going to roll it through. Whoops, there we go. Okay, and now that that's finished, I'm going to set it aside and do some stamping. This and the Whisper White. So I have my Cherry Cobbler ink. I'm going to stamp the main flower onto the Whisper White cardstock. And then I've got the flower center, and I'm going to be stamping this in Memento Tuxedo Black ink. And then this is the coordinating flower medallion punch. Nope. Center that in there. And then punch it out. Okay. Now for this piece of the cherry cobbler, this is the one that measures three inches by four inches. I'm going to be stamping the small flower image, this one right here, all over in Cherry Cobbler ink. Now I'm just going to be stamping it randomly all over. And that's done. And the last thing I want to do is stamp my sentiment, the thank you, again in the, in the tuxedo black ink. I'm going to center it along the right side because the flower is going to go right here. Okay. Next, I want to get my punch. This is the scalloped edge punch. And when I use this, I like to center uh, the piece of cardstock before I punch it. I'll center it and then I'll slide it to the left and right punch. The reason I do that is because I don't want to have like half of a scallop on this side and then a sliver over here. I like my everything to be centered and the scallops to match on both sides. So I put it in and then I look at the silver guide and I make sure that if I have a third of a scallop here, I have a third of a scallop there. Punch. And then you can slide it to the left and right using the silver part as a guide to see where you need to punch next. And then come back over to this side. And one last punch. And I just think it looks so much nicer when the scallops are uh, equal on both sides. Okay, now we can start putting this together. 
have our card base. Here's this layer. And I need our ribbon. And the flower. I want to put some dimensionals on the back of the flower. up about half an inch from the bottom. Press that into place. And for this part, the ribbon's going to go right here, so I want to put some adhesive on the back. And since it's ribbon, I want to use fast fuse so that I can make sure it's really going to stay. For all my cards, I made sure that the chevron, the point, was pointing to the left, just so they'd all coordinate. Center that and press it into the back. And for some of the lighter colors, like when I was doing the Blushing Bride, you can see where the top of the cardstock is, so I try to just line the top of the cardstock up with, right there with the center of the ribbon. Okay. Put my flower on. And again, since there's ribbon on the back, now I'm going to be using my fast fuse just to make sure it stays in place. Now, for most people, that right there, the card would be done, but if you guys follow my blog, you know that I love to decorate the insides of my cards as well. So I've done that with all of these cards, and I just wanted to show you the simple design I have right there. For that, you're going to need another piece of basic black cardstock. This is four inches by five and a quarter. I have a piece of cherry cobbler that's three and three quarters by five inches. I have a piece of basic black cardstock. This measured one and a quarter by three and three quarters, and I went ahead and scalloped it just the way I, same way I did on the front. And I have a second piece of the chevron ribbon that is five and a half inches. Okay, to start with, I'm going to take this piece of basic black cardstock, put some adhesive on the back, and adhere it to the cherry cobbler's cardstock about I don't know half, about quarter inch up from the bottom. Then I'm going to do just like I did on the front, flip it over. Add some fast fuse, oops, because this is where the ribbon is going to go. I'm going to center the ribbon on there, and again I made sure that the point was going to the left, and press that into place. Now using more fast fuse, put that on the back. The only reason I'm using fast fuse is because this ribbon adds quite a bit of thickness between these two layers of cardstock. So I really want it to stick. Center that on the basic black. And now that I'm going just back to cardstock onto cardstock, I can again use my snail adhesive. And just put that in the center. So my card is done, and of course, I had to stamp a coordinating envelope to go along with that one as well. So to bring them all in, this is my whole set of cards right here, along with my favorite color, Cherry Cobbler. I hope you enjoyed the tutorial. Thanks so much for stopping by.